Hey guys, what's up? So many of you asking me to make a tutorial of custom ROM installation. So today I will be going to guide you how you can install custom ROM on your device. So this will be a three step video. And for that I'm using my Redmi Note 6 Pro. And the file I'm going to use on this video will be in the description below. So you can download them and you can like, go through them. So I will put all the links of the files in the description below. So this tutorial should work on almost all the Xiaomi devices. If you have different model also you can follow this video. In the first step we need to unlock the bootloader of the device. So in my case I have already unlocked the bootloader of the device. So I am not going to show you how you can unlock the bootloader. Because in Xiaomi's case if you want to unlock bootloader of your device you have to apply for it. So I will put a video link in the description below so that you can watch that video and follow how you can unlock because sometimes it takes up to two weeks to get the permission then you can unlock the device so i have already unlocked device so i'm not going to that now in the second step we need to install a twrp on our device so in the case of twrp nowadays in android 14 based rom or in the future build of the rom there will be in the dynamic partition so older twrp actually in normal partition so they're not going to work with Android 14 based ROM almost Android 14 based ROM actually dynamic partition based so you have to use a specific dynamic partition based required for that but I will put two requirements in the description below so that you can use them if you're going to flash Android 14 based ROM use the dynamic partition I will put both of them there so let's jump into the computer screen so as you can see here I have two files required dynamic Tulip so for our Redmi Note 6 Pro and another one is a normal TWRP so this one is actually Evolution X recovery it is a dynamic partition recovery should work and we have minimal LDB so so before we go to the process of installing TWRP we have to install minimal LDB so I have already installed minimal LDB it, it is required actually and we also have pixel OS here which I'm going to flash in the device so if you install that minimal LDB if you go to your file browser and C drive should be in the C drive okay so local disk C and should be program files and you will see minimal ADV and fast boot so as you can see here there are few files we don't really need to do anything with the files we have to run some command here actually so to install TWRP on your device we have to boot our device to first boot mode so you can do that directly from the device using the combination of volume buttons and power buttons but i will be going to do it in the command prompt way or i will push a rdb command to boot the device into twrp so before pushing any kind of command we need to enable adb debugging so go to setting and developer option so you can't see developer option on your device so in that Xiaomi's case you have to go to about phone section maybe in the MIUI version if you tap then it will unlock the developer option and after developer option you go to developer option and just enable the usb debugging then it might prompt you to allow the device in my case it's not going to ask me because i did use this device before so it is not going to ask me but in your case it will ask you to allow the device so allow that and now in the computer in the address bar write cmd So command prompt is opened right now. Now we have to check our device is connected to our PC or not. So in that case, we will push a command which is ADB devices. So as you can see here, we can see our device is connected here. So this is our device which is connected to our PC. So now we have to push another command to boot our device to first boot mode. So we will write ADB reboot bootloader then push enter and your device will be in the first boot mode so as you can see here our device booted into the first boot mode but if you don't want to go with the command prompt method you can just press and hold the power button and volume down button until your device reboot and boot into first boot mode directly so in that way also you can go so we are in the first boot mode now we can check our device is connected to our computer or not now we have to write first boot devices because we are already into first boot mode first boot devices 
as you can see here we can see the first boot here and the device same id now we have to push our twrp here so to install twrp as i said we have to choose which one we're going to install so in my case this rom is a for android 14 based rom but it doesn't need a dynamic partition twrp because the rom is built on a normal partition so i don't really need a dynamic partition recovery so i'm going to use a normal twrp here so the twrp 3.7.0 something like that so i'm going to use this so but if you use another different rom use this recovery recovery dynamic that one you can use so now we will push the recovery file to our device so we'll write a command first boot slash recovery then just drag and drop your file here then click and press enter so it should flush the twrp to your device so flushing is successful as you can see here now we have to boot our device into twrp for that we will use another command or you can go directly like pressing the power button and volume up button directly from here it will boot the device into twrp but don't turn off your device or do a normal boot in that case the twrp will be gone so now we will boot the device into twrp so for that i will use another command first boot boot and we will drag and drop the file again so and enter so now our device is booting into twrp so tmuin 3.7.0.9 allow it so now our second step is done in the third step we are going to install the rom so in my case or in your case if you want to install a rom you can do it in three ways actually you can use your twrp also you can use your twrp and add a beside load method which you no need to copy the file to your phone or you can use first boot mode to flash a rom so there are three ways you can do that but in my case i will use add a beside load method where i don't need to copy the file here but if you don't want to do that you can directly copy the file and install directly from here so first of all we will prepare our device to flash a custom rom on our device so first of all we will go to wipe section and we will go to format and yes so always do a clean flash like cleaning everything your device storage and data everything because you will not see any kind of bugs after that but sometime if you do that you can do that dirty flush if you are using same rom like if you're using a pixel rom and you want to flush a updated version of pixel rom then you can use dirty flush where you no need to wipe the storage or anything like that but if you are doing for new rom different rom always do a clean flash we will click delvic art cache cache data internal storage system and other things we don't really need to do anything like and just wipe so it will wipe the storage and everything so gone now as i said i'm going to in install it by a device load method so you'll go to advanced section and press on a device load now we are on the command prompt again we have to push another command to install the rom so we'll write a side load and we will drag and drop our file actually so okay drag and drop our file and we will press enter now as you can see here the installation process is going on and you can see the the bar which is going on so give it some time it's going to take about one two or three minutes not more than that easily but if you are using a wrong twrp you will see error one or few other errors in that case if you see that you should use a dynamic partition recovery you can download recovery directly from the rom link actually usually the developer provide rom link and also recovery link which is recommended to flash the rom so you can download that recovery and install it the same process actually installation process is same just install it and flash it so now it's going on So 
the ROM installation process is done as you can see here the flash is successful now we can disconnect our device or if you want to push magisk in the adv site load method you can do that too install the magisk like the way you install the custom rom you can do that and now actually we can reboot the system but if you are going with twrp method like you have to copy the file and go to install section and select the storage as macro sd card because obviously you will keep the file in your macro sd card otherwise if you keep it in your internal storage is going to be erased so as you can see here i'm going to flash magisk here directly same way you flash the rom so magisk i will swipe it and it will install the magisk here so if you install the rom it will be same just wipe and go and install the same way and after some time you will see that the flashing is successful So successful so it's same now we can reboot our device actually reboot to system so now our device will boot into pixel OS because we have flashed a pixel OS based on android 14 so i will make a review video of this rom pixel os i did use pixel os before on my redmi note 6 pro but this one is a different version so as you can see google and fast boot will take a little longer than usual boot because they have to do some works in the beginning so it is now booting up i will go through the uh, boot process really fast So we are in the ROM. Let's go and check what we have installed. Pixel, About Phone, Redmi Note 6 Pro and Android 14 as you can see here. So Android 14, the security patch level of this ROM is from November of 2023. This one is an unofficial ROM for this device and that's all about it. The review will be in the future video. I will make a review of this ROM. So currently as you can see here, we, are, we don't have any kind of issue. I'm not seeing any kind of issue. So that's all about installation process of custom ROM. This tutorial should work on all the Xiaomi devices, but some of them might not work. So in that case, you have to find your own tutorial from maybe from XDA. So that's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.